Any old university, and Columbia is among the oldest universities, has old buildings designed in an era when people were not even thinking about this. And ask any architect what's the cheapest form of grandeur, a staircase. This is a, a, a compact little campus. Lots of students with motor disabilities handle this campus really, really well and effectively. And surprisingly, when I came to Columbia, I did not expect a college located in New York City to be accessible at all. But I've been pleasantly surprised. The Morningside Heights campus, uh, having been designed in a prior century, is uh, multi-level with buildings that were designed at a time where accessibility was not uh, the primary concern. Most of my classes are on the upper campus, and all the new ramps, especially in Havermeyer and the automatic doors, have allowed me to enter the buildings and not need anybody else's help. We have worked over time to replace temporary metal ramps that were, in some cases, um, not in great shape with historically sensitive granite ramps that blend in. One of the biggest compliments that we could pay is that it looks like it had always been there and that in a year's time, nobody would know that that wasn't how it always was. The other thing that's sort of the ideal situation, and Butler Library is a good example of that too, is not having disability be an alternate route into spaces. But in the case of Butler and some other places, it's the, it's the route in. At one time, there were multiple steps leading up to a platform to enter into the library. We reconfigured the whole pathway in historical contexts so that you would not know that it wasn't always like that. That sort of makes everybody who is moving in an alternative way mainstream rather than the other way. I am a what is called T5, T6 paraplegic, fifth and sixth thoracic vertebras, um, and uh, you're seeing it. I use a wheelchair to move around. And what do I use it on the Columbia campus? Ramps and elevators. When the ADA came into effect, institutions had to start doing a lot more. They did so at different speeds. Uh, Columbia has not been the fastest uh, of its peers in the Ivy League, but things improve. But we're not resting there. Uh, we're looking at uh, always enhancing access to campus, looking at traffic patterns, um, going to the uh, secondary and tertiary means of entrance to the campus block as a whole, and also working on interior mobility within the buildings themselves. So our job is not done. We're going to continue to make Columbia a, a modern and accessible campus. All of the accommodations that are being made are going to help everybody at some point. Everybody is going to need you know, an automatic opening door. Everybody's going to need to move around with an elevator or a ramp at some point. It benefits uh, not only those who are mobility challenged, but those who are doing work on campus, moving equipment around campus, babies uh, in strollers, and just an easier way to walk on campus.